In this video, I'm going to show you how to format a pivot table in Google Sheets. So with the pivot table, you have a few different options for customizing the format of your pivot table. So I just want to show you that if you're not familiar with it already. So I'm going to show a couple different methods for doing this. One is using themes to update the format of your pivot table and the other is just doing it manually. So themes is a built in way to quickly change the format of your pivot table. So that's the first thing I'm going to show. All you do is you come up to format and then they have this theme option here. And when you select that, they have these pre-built themes that you can use to quickly change the format. So this is an option if you want to just quickly change the colors and some of the font settings is just changing the theme here and they have a few different options you can choose from. Now what you can also do is customize your theme. So you see this customize button here. If I select this I have even more customization settings. So really what you can change here is the font and you can change colors. So you have text colors, you have these different accent colors, and then you have the chart background color. So that is one way that you can edit the um, formatting of your pivot table. Now the next way that you edit the formatting of your pivot table is just doing it manually. And so by manually, I mean the same way you would change formatting um, with anything else in your spreadsheet. So if you wanna change the uh, number format, I'm gonna highlight these numbers here, format, number, and then I have all of these different options depending on what I want to do. So maybe I'll do accounting format and you can see it changed that. Um, you have all the same other options for formatting um, that you have up here in this toolbar. So format as currency. And then you have format as percent. these decimal place settings. You have more number formats, so you can also do the same thing um, with this. You can change your font, font size, and then you have some text settings, text color, and you have other options in here, such as fill color, um, borders, things like that. So you can also change format through this format option. You have some additional options. So those are really the ways that you change the formatting of your pivot table. Basically, it's the same as changing it in a normal spreadsheet, except again, you do have the themes option. Now, there is two key differences you should know between changing it manually or using themes. One is that manually may change as you update your pivot table. So if I add more rows and more columns to this pivot table, I may have to apply the formatting again. Whereas the theme formatting, it's already set to my whole pivot table. So as I add in additional data, it's already gonna be that format. So those are some differences you should know. But changing the format is pretty basic. I just thought I would show that for those of you that don't know already. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.